finally made it out to Klamath with the old 7.3. Barely. Oh, wait, oh, there's the other dog. Hard to see. Apparently it's still not, you know, yet. So I'm on my way back, aiming at the wind and sitting letting it cool. So as you can see, I got the radiator out, how to properly clean it <coughs> without a pressure washer around. Get it in the shower and start spraying. Look at all that crap. second one but this one's even more stock yeah. he's out of waves yeah Jerry blew his belt sitting here fixing that crap band-aid we did earlier we got done earlier I should say duct tape now so blew the belt out again so now we're gonna run it without the clutch cover and I need to clean my windshield, but uh, that washing the radiator did wonders. Yeah, not 250 going, oh my God, shut me down. Ah. Sweet. This is the most I've driven it out here then so far, which is awesome. On my way to the sand drags now, and yeah. So the 6x6 made it down to the sand uh, drags. Like the one guy said, I got the fastest 6x6 here. So I guess that makes me feel a little better about myself. I think Oldsmobile Hill is next, I don't know. Chad, smile for the camera. I 
made it up top of Olds, but I took the back way, so I got to try doing it up the normal way. How long does that thing run? Yeah, like 208. Oh, you guys so staying here or going to head back? Well, I was just going to stay here for a little bit and head back. I got to make it up Olds. Hey, be frank. How, how did I do with the freaking 6x6 with dirt tires? Pretty good. I was shocked. <laughs> really good, yeah. <laughs> I was maxing the suspension out oh, yeah. hard, especially up front. <laughs> you did one dip, it was like boom! Holy do you guys, do you guys see how the door opened the one time? Your door flew up. I'm like, oh shit, it's falling out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making her somehow. Are you guys staying here? Are we making bets? Oh, Is that it? Yeah, he's going fast. In reverse. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> is he just keeping her taped right through the whoops? Oh yeah. Is he an all-wheel drive? He has to be. That's it? That's it? Holy shit, they made it all through all the dunes? That's crazy. <laughs> I know, the, some of the shit we were in, I, I was shocked we made it that. It fell over! Get it off! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hold it all right. <laughs> <laughs> no filming of me in any whoops. It actually surprisingly does okay. Not great, but okay. Way better for a utility machine with three axles than I would have expected. And we're back at camp. I need to find a sweet jump later today to take this off of. So hopefully you guys will get that. Sorry for the wind, but it's windy out here today. It's really the only way to get the Cricket hauler on top of Olds is taking the side route, you know. They need some more ponies to get up right here. In, in time. In time. But for stock machine dirt tires, at what, 71 horse? I would say it does pretty good. Rocking the old Outlander, two up. Not a boy. Their power to weight ratio is a little better if they have a 1,000 especially. They're only because they have all them rubs and no power.
Well, found a witch eye out here. She broke my tire on end. So now I'm screwed, kind of over by uh, Sunset Hill. Oops. The tie rods that my buddy made, those hold, held up great. If you look real carefully at this A-arm, okay, maybe not that carefully. That's not right either. Oops. Surprisingly, the CV shaft stayed in there, even with that boot tore and everything. Here, let's go see that witch's eye. Wheelers went over it fine. I didn't. I didn't know it was there. There, the front bumper, she she hit real nice and good. Came up and kaboosh! Oops. Hey, you just fix it and make better. I don't know yet if that's the same as next three, because if it is, they might have parts here. Why do we gotta take the tie rod off? The welder. Oh, yeah, the end. No, the end. Yeah, the tie rod itself is Let's intact. Take the whole thing off. Well, well, it's one. Can't drive. It, Justin, this is aluminum and this is steel. You weld the nut to the thing. Yeah, you just take it all off right on the end. Oh, I yeah, yeah. The whole thing off. No, yeah, you're right. It would be easier. Oops. Brought some ratchet straps with to possibly for a broken down four wheeler. Nope. We're using it to keep our uh, front wheel from turning. All right, just made it back to camp. You know what the first thing to do is after breaking stuff and saying screw it, we'll do it, fix it tomorrow. Grabbing a beer. Can't drive anyways. Taking the Tatum V8 Turbo LS out tonight. Since I'm broken, and yeah, this should be fun. You'll get some video clips.
we have a jet ski hitting waves back at home. Yeah. This is a pretty sweet North Star Ranger. Long travel kit on it, running on 32 sand tires, but typical player's clutches are too hot, they burn up the belt. So it's just kind of a camp cruiser for now. We'll be going out shortly with all the supplies to go pick up the, fix it and pick up the cricket hauler out in the middle of the dunes. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I don't make enough money. Maybe one day. For those that don't know, North Star are heat and AC. Any North Star, the muffler is in the back because of the AC compressor. Unless you go high lifter, then they put the muffler in back because otherwise it'll get caked and burnt on. What a gorgeous view up here on the overlook. Getting all the stuff to fix. Jenny. CV. Tools. Well, oh yeah, we need a jack. We need to get that over here somewhere too. Over there is where she is. Apparently it's in one piece. Awesome. Alright, we made it out to the machine. Got the welder. Here's the hole we ended up getting pulled into. Yeah, we got some audience. There was a Joe Dirtwig that had me uh, wear. Apparently that's for when you break down. So, yeah. Get the old welder out. I forgot a welding helmet. Sunglasses and uh, closing my eyes. Justin for the win. I think the shit talking came to an end there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he had a wheelie.
thank you for watching the video and all the shenanigans did out at uh, Glamis. Had a lot of fun. Damage the machine, didn't you know, hardcore break it. A uh, good excuse to get some new arms by Super ATV. Um, I got a GoPro, sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with it yet. Otherwise, I would have got some good footage with that. Um, I only had the mount for like my helmet, and that would have been just right into the rough here, so apologize. But yeah, apparently, all them guys got a kick out of this out there. It did quite well, a lot better than they were expecting. They'd turn around periodically, um, and they'd see all six wheels up in the air going over a little berm and, or dune and stuff. Or if I was in a big uh, big dune and I couldn't get out at night, as soon as I was screwed, I'd hit the lights, the side lights would all come on, and they, they all thought that was just kind of funny for me just being uh, aware of my surroundings or trying to be aware of my surroundings. Can't do it all the time. Clearly, because I broke it. And now I've been told to buy a wig. From the picture you'll see here in there. Of the, that's the breakdown wig. And then I just threw it on when I was in the Tatum just because. I don't know, it was fun. Didn't even think about filming myself with it. Do all the clickety-clack stuff, it helps with the LG rhythm. Kids have a good day.